Well, I th we're going to jump ahead a year. We're going to uh, uh, see an extension of the last scene of, of last year. Uh, we actually shot a longer scene. It continues. And we're going to, you know, n last year was a cliffhanger. I'm stabbed, Claire stab. I'm lying on the floor. We'll continue that scene and see what happens there. Then we jump ahead a year. Ryan Hardy is healthier. His heart's working. He's running. He's not in the FBI. He's teaching. He's uh, not drinking and has relationships and um, is in a seemingly very different headspace. Right. I'd say the lighter side of Ryan. You know, I mean, I think that um, we touched a little bit last year on his ability to be kind of like a wise ass, you know, and people really responded to that. There was a guy that the one question that we got from, com from the Comic-Con uh, panel was a guy that said, I really like when you're sarcastic. Can we see more of that? Um, I think that um, we're going to see some members of the family that we haven't met before. We're going to see him a continuation of relationships that he's had. Um, you know, so far his relationships have been, you know, Molly was a girlfriend. That didn't work out so well. And, um, and you know, the relationship with Claire is a very, very troubled one. You know, two real people that are really troubled and probably shouldn't be together. I don't know, you know. Um, but maybe there's room for a healthy relationship. Um, I also think that his relationship with the Weston character uh, can be explored more. It really is a mentor kind of thing, and, and, and Mike has, his personality has shifted a little more towards Ryan's personality, and is that a good thing or a bad thing? And You know, I mean, look, I, I like the scary stuff, and I like the, the plot twists and all those kinds of things, but from an acting standpoint, it's the, it's the human thing that is, that is interesting for me to play, you know? Love and sex and fear and, and yearning and sadness and memory and all those things. That, that's, that's the stuff that, you know, you want to explore. Yeah, really amazing. I mean, you know, uh, I, this is obviously my first TV show. And um, I, I got a sort of secondhand, you know, experience of it by being married to Kira and seeing her, her experience on The Closer. But one thing that, you, you know, really has struck me is that when you go to the movies, you get in your car and you go to the movies, and it's a really short amount of time relative to a television show that you uh, share with these actors, but there's something about them that's a little bit sort of distant. But in television, they really, you know, we're coming into their houses like week after week after week. And so there's this very, very intimate connection that happens between fans and, and, and television actors, I think. Um, and I think it's really, uh, it's cool. I like it. And I like it, it certainly was great being here at Comic-Con because last year we were trying to relate to people with a show that they had seen, you know. And now, you know, they're, they really get it, you know. I think that um, that whole sequence where uh, the Agent Parker character, Annie, was, was put into the coffin was so hard, you know, so, so, I mean, for so many reasons. For one thing, I love her, and she's a great actress, and, and it was really fun to play with her. We had a great time. And so, so you're literally looking at that relationship, you know, coming to an end uh, with somebody that you really enjoy spending time with. Um, the, uh, the, the fact that I shared that with the Western character, um, you know, the anger that you have to sort of reach for to be able to go and kill somebody in cold blood whose hands are handcuffed and just, you know, go up to him and just blow, blow his head off, you know. It's a very, like, that was a rough day, man. Uh, not to mention, you know, her actually being in the box and dirt and, you know, you know, so that, that definitely sticks out in my memory.